Welcome to Module 2. The, here we're going to start really working on the topic. Make sure you read the section on identifying and developing a topic. There's all sorts of different things to look at. Also, we're going to be talking about a rubric because guess what? You're just not identifying a topic out of thin air. You need to make sure you're using the things at hand developed by the person who's wanting you to do the research. You want to make sure that you have the right topic that fits the needs of the rubric. So we're going to kind of connect those in that particular piece. Also, we're going to talk about narrowing down the topic, like how would we do this? One of my favorite ways is who, what, where, why, and how. It's a great way to look at it in different ways, different places, uh, different groups, all sorts of things. So make sure you sort of work on that a little bit and that's going to help you narrow down your topic. I really wanted to see you this week narrowing that topic down. I'm going to talk a little bit about Google and Wikipedia and the different types of Google. I want you to use Google Advanced specifically to do your research this week to find a specific thing inside of Twitter Facebook or Instagram and also to find a government document. So make sure you review the video in front of the assignment so you'll know how to do that. But meantime, take the time to go through these pieces because these are really valuable parts of your research journey. Google's awesome, but Google's specialized pieces are really, really something else. Totally next level research and I want you to know about them. This is also talking about the overview of your reference question because it's all about tuning that up. This of course is going to go into a brief quiz. Then you're going to have an example of what your assignment should look like. Uh, all you have to do is click on this and you'll see it. If you want to copy and paste and use this as sort of a template, uh, please feel free to do so. This is exactly how your piece should look like when you turn it in at the end. At the very end, of course, with the assignment, I have a very helpful, useful, I like to believe, uh, piece on step-by-step um, -step on how to do the assignment along with a video. Make sure to look at everything on that assignment page because I've exhaustively uh, I've exhaustively won ever, everything except for this one big thing. I'm figuring out how to cite a government document, APA, MLA, Chicago, whatever. It's going to be a little bit of a new experience. In fact, you might have to reach out and ask me to help you. Does this mean you didn't do the assignment right? No, because guess what? Working with librarians is part of this experience. And I want you to understand that part of the experience is sometimes you have to ask for help unless you've become someone very specialized in the organization of the government. This is going to be a little bit more difficult. Even when you ask a librarian, it's going to take them a minute to sort of get the thread of how to answer your question. So make sure you look at this video. Make sure you follow all these little pieces. And I have links to the APA examples. Um, I don't, I'm not sure which one you're going to need, but make sure you sort of look them over. And if you have any questions, this is when you use your librarian, not just in this course, but when you're working on your doctorate. This is our relationship. I hope you enjoy this project. There's some things here you're going to learn, Google Advanced, I think you should be using every day.